I'm Melissa with Pixie Dust Adventures Travel Planners. And I'm Mason from Mason's Edge. We are going to take you on a food adventure into the Disney theme parks with us to try some of our favorite foods. Then we're going to bring you back to our kitchen and try to recreate the Disney dishes that we tried while we talk to you about the theme parks and maybe even offer a few tips too. Come on, let's go! Woody's Lunchbox now in Toy Story Land at Hollywood Studios as promised and we have here the tachos right what are they amazing so basically the tachos are just um tater tots like Frito kind of chips cheese uh queso sour cream <laughs> yep yep uh, uh beans meat lots of good stuff which we are going to try to recreate in our own kitchen but we had to come here and try it first it's a little crowded. It was a little tough to find a spot to eat our meal. We did find, uh, grab some standing tables here. But um, hey, let's dig in and take, we gotta taste this. The queso sauce, some onions. I might skip the onions on top, making it myself. But there's some meat, cheese, tater tots. Yeah, taste it, dig in. Oh, mm. that's really good. Um, that is delicious and it's going to be filling and one order is probably going to be a great snack or maybe even meal for both of us. Yeah. And they will give you a free cup of ice water if you just ask for ice water with whatever you order. So we're going to dig into this and then we're going to take you into our kitchen at home and try to recreate it and see how close we can come. We are back in our kitchen from Hollywood Studios and those tachos were delicious at Woody's Lunchbox. We are going to try to recreate those kind of from our own recipe, but there is a recipe in the Delish Loves Disney Magazine. You can buy this on Amazon Prime, so if you want exact measurements and agreements, I ingredients, I suggest you go out and pick this up. Let's review everything that goes into the tachos. All right, that's right, let's get into the ingredients. So first we have frozen tater tots, Next, we have corn chips, then diced tomatoes and queso. That's basically what makes up the tachos, but if you want to make homemade chili for your tachos, which makes it that much better, you want dark red kidney beans or kidney beans, tomato sauce, we have petite diced tomatoes, um, some coarse salt, which is Himalayan pink sea salt, but you can use any coarse salt, pepper, and chili powder and ground cumin. That can make your homemade chili, but let's not forget it says a pound of ground beef. We use ground turkey, but you can use ground beef, ground turkey, or ground pork. Now for the fun part. We are gonna move through cooking this recipe and putting it together, but we are going to take you with us on a ride on our favorite Toy Story Land attraction. That's right guys, get ready to go on Slinky Dog Dash. All right, let's cook and ride.
So that was some fast cooking and a fun ride on Slinky Dog Dash. Toy Story Land has three attractions right now. Slinky Dog Dash, Toy Story Mania, and Alien Swirling Saucers. And Slinky Dog is definitely the most popular. So let's plate these tachos and dive in and taste them. And maybe even a little tip in there somewhere. Right, but okay. Tachos. For you, well, we cooked our tater tots. Um, I like to use an air fryer because we think it makes them crispy. But if you don't have an air fryer, there's these um, baking pans that circulate and make them crispy, the, the copper pans. Or you can use a regular baking sheet with aluminum foil. Crispy tater tots matter, though. So that's right. Ethan's so. gonna load those up on there. We're we're loading the, the tater tots on the plate here and getting ready to put on the next ingredients, right? You're gonna keep putting on the next ingredients. That's right. And let's cut, let's let's take a look at the green army men who march through Toy Story Land. Well, Easton plates these tachos. That's right. What goes on next? Let's get these tachos ready. Let's go on next. What goes on next while we watch the green army men play? So next goes on this delicious homemade chili. And we're just gonna get that everywhere. Like, mm. You saw that chili that we made while we rode Slicky Dog. A little more of that on there. Yeah, guys, like really pile it on there. Like, don't don't be shy. I mean, if you cook it at your own house, you can load these babies up with like everything. So, um, cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. We got some cheese sauce next. This is the jar of queso cheese, and you it doesn't have to be queso cheese, but a jar a jar of store bought cheese, and you mix in tomatoes, the can of tomatoes with the green chilies in with the cheese. So it's cheese with the canned tomatoes and chilies. That's right, guys. Yeah, the good thing about making these at home is you can put as much as you want of anything on it. What's and next? Finally, to top it off, a dollop of whipped cream. All right. Well, those green arm women look like a lot of fun. And if you visit Walt Disney World and Toy Story Land, you will get to see those green arm women. Put on some sour cream. In Disney World, I noticed that they put green onions on top. But again, that's the glory of eating these at home is we are not onion fans, so we left off the onions. But we might choose to put some jalapenos. You can put fresh jalapenos or jar jalapenos or whatever you like. Oh, we are forgetting a very important ingredient. The chips. <laughs> we can use it to sprinkle them on, okay? We never claim to be chefs. We're really just theme park gurus and we like the, the food. Speak so. for yourself. I'm a chef, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's put the corn chips. We crunch them up a little because the, the generic ones we bought are kind of big. So we're going to crush up the corn chips and put them on top. I think the official recipe in Disney World when we ate it had the tater tots and then the corn chips and then the chili and the cheese and the sour cream on top of that if you want to get. We're not going to specific by their recipe though. All right. Sprinkle those corn chips. Anybody who and knows cooking knows what that he's is. He's getting this done. I do want to tell y'all a little tip here. If you want to eat at Woody's Lunchbox, right now they're doing mobile ordering um, after the reopening. It's how they're helping control crowds. I did see a little bit of walk-up ordering going on, but if you want to place a mobile order for Woody's Lunchbox, do it early. Um, the mobile order windows, when you place your mobile order, you choose a time window to pick up your order. And a lot of times they're two hours out from the time you place the order. But you can place the order at nine o'clock in the morning and choose a pickup window of noon to one. We also will say, as we saw in the video while we were in Hollywood Studios, it was a little tricky to find a spot to sit or stand. So be prepared to have patience for those crowds for this popular dish. It was a little crowded there, but we were around, it was around lunchtime, so that's to be expected. Yeah. Yes, if you try to eat it off times really early or really late, maybe the crowds won't be so bad. Um, it was lunchtime when we were there. But let's take a look at our recipe here of the tachos. Right next to the, let's take a look at this, and then look at Disney's tacho recipe. Let's give it a taste. All right, yeah, let's dig into it. All right, I'm gonna try this here. I'm gonna use my fingers. This is kind of finger food, right? It is. They're nachos, right. they're tacho. Oh. I really like it. I think. I think what makes this recipe is the homemade chili. So 
If you wanted to take a shortcut, you could definitely open a can of chili and pour it on the tachos. Um, but anyway, we're not chefs. This isn't all about our cooking. This is about Disney and the fun things you get to do while you're there. I hope that you enjoyed the Slinky Dog Roller Coaster, um, the Green Army Men, and yes, this food is just a little bit of Disney at home, but you'll have to try it in person. And if you want some of your very own Disney recipes from the theme parks, check out that Delish Loves Disney magazine. You can get it on Amazon.com. Thank you for watching. If you want complimentary concierge planning assistance for your next Walt Disney World vacation, my name is Melissa. Um, I own Pixie Dust Adventures Travel Planners. Look me up at pixiedustadventures.com. Hold on a minute. So my entire life, you told me that if it's too good to be true, it probably is. But now you're telling me that I can literally book a Disney trip or have somebody do it for me for free. Like, no you bet. And you have to lock in those rates now. Things fill up quickly. Rooms fill up. Um, it's only a $200 deposit. And your de deposit is refundable up until your final payment date. Another little tip for you. So lock in those rates today. If a special offer comes out, I will automatically apply that offer to your room and it can be applied before you travel. So you lose nothing. But anyway, we're gonna go enjoy these tachos. Keep an eye out for our next episode of Cooking with Pixie Dust. Thank you for watching. Bye.